F867 microcontroller. So our analog to digital converter will simply be a device which can read an analog voltage, convert it into an digital convert it into a digital voltage and display the voltage value on the liquid crystal display. So we are going to build our circuit on Proteus and write our code on micro C. So I'll go, I'm, I'm going to select my devices. So I'm going to go to pick devices. Then I'm going to type in the pick 16F 877A microcontroller. So here is it. I'll equally need a crystal oscillator. Crystal. So I'll need this crystal oscillator. I'll need a 16 by 2 matrix liquid crystal display. So I'm going to take this one. I will need some capacitors. So cap. Let me see. I'm going to take this one. I will equally need a push button and a resistor. So I will need a push button. So I will need a push button. Here is the push button and a resistor. So here is the resistor. So I'm going to build up the circuit now. So to build the circuit, I will just click on the device. Come and click here on this page. Then click again to place the device. So here is my PIC16 F877A. So I'm going to do the connections. I'm going to do the oscillator connections. So I'll need a crystal oscillator. I will need two capacitors. So here is the oscillator clock in. I'll connect my clock in here and I'll connect my clock out here for the oscillator. Then I take this one to capacitor capacitor then I'll ground these two terminals so here is a ground equally I'm going to connect my liquid crystal display LCD so here is my liquid crystal display so for this I will need a potentiometer in order to adjust the brightness of the liquid crystal display potentiometer for HD so you have the potentiometer so I'll connect my potentiometer. So I'll need a 5 volts power source. So I'm going to put 5 volts. I'll have to ground. So here VSS, I'm going to connect it to the ground. VDD I'm going to connect to the 5 volt power supply then VEE I'm going to connect to the middle terminal of the potentiometer here is the register select I'm going to connect it to RB0 of the microcontroller the read write I'm going to connect it to the ground so read write I'll connect it to the ground here then the enabler I'm going to connect it to pin RB1 of the microcontroller these 4 pins D0 to D3 I'm going to ground them all so I'm going to ground them all then here D4 D5 D6 and D7 so those are the connections for the liquid crystal display I'm going to connect I'm going to do the connections for the reset of the microcontroller so I'll need the push button so I can name it as reset since it's a reset button so this button helps to reset the code in the microcontroller that is to make the code to start back from the beginning so here is a master clear reset i'll need a resistor 10 kilo ohm so i'm going to change this resistance to 10 kilo ohm 10k then i'll need a 5 volts power source plus 5 volts I'm going to connect it this way and I'm going to ground my button so here is the ground then I'm going to connect the input voltage which will be read by the microcontroller and will be displayed on the liquid crystal display so I'm going to connect the input voltage via a potentiometer so I'll need a power supply here is a power supply I'm going to put 5 volts power supply. I'm going to need a potentiometer. 
so i'm going to connect this potentiometer to the ra0 of the microcontroller that is the analog analog pin the first analog pin of the microcontroller and i'm going to ground it then equally i'm going to write the code for this so here is a schematic you can pause the video to draw this schematic layout is very easy we are going to write our code in micro c so let me open micro c new project yeah standard next so i'm going to call it adc i'm going to select the folder where i'm going to save it i'm going to save it in adc so the clock frequency here's a clock frequency and here is a type of microcontroller pic 16 f 877a if you want to use a different microcontroller, you can click here and select the type of microcontroller you want. So here we are going to use a PIC16 F877. Here clock frequency, you use a, an 8 MHz clock frequency. So next. So we are going to write our code here in micro C. So to write the code while explaining using the schematic, I'm going to minimize this. So I'll write the code here while explaining the schematic on this other side. So I'm going to give the connections between the liquid crystal display and the microcontroller. So to do this, I'm going to first write it as SB liquid crystal display. The register select button is connected at pin RB0, then bit. So that one simply means the LCD register select is connected to pin RB0 of the microcontroller as you can see here. You can see that register select is connected to pin RB0. So we are going to do so for the other pins. So to facilitate our work, we are just going to copy this. And we are going to paste. We are going to paste control V. So for the next, we are going to give for the enabler. Enabler is connected at pin RB1. So here we are going to say LCD enabler, which is E, connected at RB1. So we are going to continue this way. So D4, D5, D6, and D7. So that is it. Then that is not all. We are going to give their directions. Directions. So for the direction, we are going to say S bit LCD register select RS direction direction at trees B0 bit. So that is for the direction for the register select. So we are going to copy this and do it the same way for the all the other pins so that is it for the directions so we are going to define some variables here i'm going to explain the use of the variables while writing the code so we are going to give a float voltage and display volt so voltage and display volt those are two variables and equally we are going to declare a car car a string you can call it a string string variable Volt, a string variable called volt so we are going to go to our, our main program so to go to our main program we enter the void main void since the code returns nothing so void main it's always good to indent always remember to indent it's a good practice to indent so we are going to define uh, pod b pins as output so we notice that the information is sent from port B to the liquid crystal display. So port B is considered as output. So to do so, we are going to say trees B equals 0x00 in hexadecimal. So by doing so, we have defined all port B as output. So equally, we are going to def define our input here. So here is the input pin that is going to be reading the voltage from so here is the voltage that our input pin is going to read so you notice that the voltage is connected to pin ra0 so we are going to declare it as an input pin so we are going to say since it's found on port a we are going to say this a since it's just ra0 only as the input you can declare it as 0x0f 0 0 so you remember hexadecimals so 0x0f 0 0 is the same as 00001111 so here you have our ra0 here this first one so all of these four can be considered as input then this one as output so we notice that our ra0 falls here 
so that one is simply to say pod a zero as input equally we are going to initialize our liquid crystal display so to do that we are going to see lcd init by doing so we are initializing the liquid crystal display equally we are going to initialize the analog to digital converter since we are dealing with analog to digital converter operation so we initialize the analog to digital converter so we are going to send some commands to the lcd we are going to send some commands to the lcd so we are going to say lcd command so you should remember where you have to put the uppercase and the lowercase here is micro c and c programming is a sense it's a case sensitive language so always remember where to put capital so we have lcd command lcd clear so this this line of code simply means we should clear the lcd so initially whatever is written there by mistake or anything happens the lcd should be clear so we send another command lcd command lcd cursor off so this one means we should turn our cursor off for the lcd so this could simply mean we should set the cursor off set the lcd cursor off so that you should not be blinking blinking so we send our first message lcd out so lcd out is to send the message to the lcd so we are here we are using a 16 by 2 liquid crystal display it means it has 16 columns and two rows so to send messages to it we start by listing the row and the column so i would like to send a message to row one at column five and i'm going to type in the message so here the message is digital so that is the first message then here lcd out I'm going to send another message to row 2, column 4, and the message will be volt meter. So, volt meter, sorry, volt meter. So, these two lines of code simply means you should display the messages. The messages on the LCD. So when you display those messages, you will like that the message to disappear after a period of 2 seconds. So to do so, we are going to use a delay of 2 seconds. So in micro C, you can write delay in milliseconds. Then you remember to write two, 2 seconds in milliseconds is 2000 milliseconds. So that is it. Then after that message is displayed and disappears for a period of 2 seconds, I would like to display another message. You can skip this part if you don't want to be writing it so i would like to display another message so i would like to display a message at row one column three so the message can be you can simply write design by design by who design by you for example so row two column three so i will write design by me so design by me i will simply write design by engineer brandon then this message it should delay for a period of three seconds that is three thousand milliseconds so that is it for the messages so after these messages have finished to be displayed in immediately the microcontroller starts reading the input voltage and display it to the liquid crystal display so after this i'll have to clear the lcd so we are going to do some calculations here i'll bring an infinite loop so i hope what you know an infinite loop is a loop that runs for eternity so inside my infinite loop i'm going to say the input voltage that is voltage equals adc read ra0 so this line of code simply means i should read that is the microcontroller should read the input voltage to read the input voltage then i'll convert that voltage because remember we define voltage as a float so i'm going to convert that voltage that float value of the voltage into a string so that you'll be able to display to be displayed on the liquid crystal display so i'm going to use float to string float to string oh sorry float to 
flip to string remember it is a double t here is a double t here flip to string so flip to string so my string will be display vault and my float vault so i'll continue so i'm going to send the command out lcd out position one pv so there is voltage voltage equals then here i'm going to define my display volt what is display volt display volt is simply the input voltage read from the voltage source by the microcontroller the input voltage multiplied by 5 divided by 1023 so that is the input voltage so i'm going to say lcd out lcd out position 2 12 that is rule 2 column 12 arrow trim volt so under lcd out position 2 16 volt as a string that is a measured that is a unit for voltage now i'm simply indicate a unit for voltage lcd command lcd clear or let me say lcd cursor of no need to be clearing the display uh, no need to clear the display after every moment just turn off the cursor so i'm going to delay for a period of three milliseconds so that is it 300 milliseconds sorry so that is all for our code so we notice that uh, micro c has highlighted some things here it has underlined some things in red so if i run if i build my code here is if i build my code the code is simply the compiler is going to say undeclared identifier undeclared this it because it does not recognize all of this so to fix up this i'm going to go to view uh, library manager so i'm going to include the analog to digital converter i'm going to click on the conversions that is now i'll do for flow to string conversion and equally i'm going to click on my liquid crystal display so and i'll build it here oh i forgot to put a semicolon here so i'm going to build this code oh another mistake another semicolon that i forgot to put so i'm going to build up the code oh we are saying on result extend lcd if n direction oh sorry enabler 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 is e n and not e enabler is e n okay so let's build the code so we see project link successfully finished successfully so it means our project was our code was built successfully so we are going to load this code we are going to load the hex file to our big 16 f877a microcontroller so I'm, i forgot to save this one okay so our i guess our hex file was so here is a hex file adc.hex so this is a hex file which we are going to load to our microcontroller remember each time you run a code on micro c and it runs successfully the hex file is automatically generated into the same folder where your code was saved so i'm going to load the hex file into my microcontroller so here a program file so here is it adc.hex they are in the same folder that's why i found it so easily then remember here in our project we use a pic 16 f 87 years but we use a frequency of 8 megahertz so in our simulation we are equally going to change the microcontroller frequency to 8 megahertz so that both the simulation and the code should synchronize somehow so let us run and see so digital ball meter so you can change this one to write your name so the input voltage saying the input voltage read from the potentiometer is 2.49 volt okay let me let me add a voltmeter across this so that we'll be able to read and compare so let me add a dc voltmeter let me add a dc voltmeter 
So if I run, I'll see that. Okay. I see that the voltmeter displays 2.5 volts, while this one displays 2.49 volts. So the slight decrease in voltage reading is due to the impedance caused by this whole seg. So we are going to add the voltage here. You notice that as we add increases, it reads almost the same value that is with a slight difference, slight difference of 0.01 volts. So we have 4.35 here, we have 4.34. That change in voltage is due to the impedance of the circuit. So yeah, we have 1.5. Okay, 1.5 gives the same reading. Wow, that's great, that's great. So thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel and share my videos, the tutorials to your friends, your friends in other engineering schools. Thank you very much. And if you have any idea of, if you have any problem, any worry about anything concerning microcontrollers, just hit in, in the comment section. Thank you.